Remix wants to know how to run and play and optimize Princess Peach Showtime and Nintendo Switch game into your PC. If you're interested, then please do watch this video tutorial of mine because I'm going to teach you how to do that exactly. So first of all, what you need is that you'll need to have a copy of all these files that I have highlighted here in my desktop. There are only three files. And also, you will need to install an application called Ryujinx. So for those who don't know, Ryujinx is a Switch emulator. It can play any Switch games into your PC as long as you have all of these files here installed in Ryujinx. Jinx emulator. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Ryujinx emulator officially. And to do that is just open a web browser and just type in Ryujinx emulator in Google search and hit search. Ryujinx.org is their official website. So go ahead, click on that. And then once you're here, click on the get started button. And you can now choose on which uh, installer you want to install. It's in Linux or in Mac or in Windows. But in Mac, be sure that you are on Mac OS uh, 12 version or later version in order for you to be able to use Ryujinx emulator. So for those who are in Windows, just like me, just click on the download button here to download the latest build of Ryujinx emulator for PC. So since I have already done this, I'm just going to skip on this part because the download installation process for this is really easy to do and is really straightforward and any noob can do this. So go ahead, click on it, download it now and install it in your PC. So I'm just going to minimize that and I'm just going to assume that you have already installed Ryujinx emulator. So go ahead, open Ryujinx emulator. And the next step to do is to install these files here in Ryujinx emulator because without these files, Ryujinx emulator is useless and will not be able to play a Switch game. So what are these files? These files are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. Both should be in version 17.0.1 in order for it to run and play Princess Peach Showtime. And the games should be in XCI or NSP file format so that Ryujinx emulator will be able to boot up and play that game. Now, if you're asking me on how to get these files, the most legal way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console, which you have modded and fully installed a custom firmware in it, because if it has a custom firmware installed in it, that means that you can have fully access your Nintendo Switch system files. And when you have access on this, on that, then all you have to do is just look for the keys and firmware file of the Switch, and then, then just transfer them into your PC. And in order for you to get the game, there's no other way around this, okay? So you should purchase the game legally, own the physical copy of the game wherein you have purchased it from a physical store or from the eShop. And once you have done that, you can digitally back up that game into an XEI or an NSP file format. So be sure to dump your game. Now, for those who don't own a Switch but want to try out and play this game but in order to get all of these files, all you have to do guys is just scan this QR code reader into your mobile phone so that you'll be redirected to the page wherein you can get a copy of all these files that I have highlighted here in my desktop. So once you're on the page, be sure to check out the entirety of the website and look for these files here and then get them into your PC. Okay, and once you have them into your PC, just like mine in my desktop, we can now install them in Ryujinx. And I'm going to assume that you have already have this file, so it's time to install them. So go ahead, open Ryujinx emulator. And then all you have to do is just click on file and open Ryujinx folder, locate system folder, and then open the keys zip file in the desktop. All you have to do is just click the product keys and title keys inside, drag and drop copy and paste them into this folder here and if this is your first installation be sure to uh, if this is your first installation um, this folder by the way should be empty so once done close in this the next step is to install the firmware file of the switch and to do that is just go to tools goes to install firmware install firmware from xei or zip file locate the firmware file so click on this version from 17.0.1 hit open and it will say that we'll have to install this version. Hit yes. And we'll say successfully installed here. Okay. So hit okay. You know, the installation is successful because here down below, you can see system version is in version 17.0.1. Uh, and also your switch games will be shown here and their game icons. So if you see game that doesn't have a game icon, that means that you're using an outdated firmware or an outdated key. So be sure to all follow the QR code that open the screen to get the latest files for Princess Beach Showtime. So the next step now is to optimize your Ryujinx emulator so that there'll be no drifting, no crashes, black screens, or graphical glitches into your playthrough. And to do this, just go to options and go to settings. And in this part, just be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see from here on out, okay? So these are my settings for the general tab. 
In the game directories, this is where in you will put your Switch games. It could be anywhere into your PC as long as you know where they are. So be sure to set them up here. Once you have done that, go to input. I have connected my uh, Switch Pro controller here. So you have an Xbox or PlayStation controller. You can connect them here and map them up according to your liking. And once you have connect them, uh, connected them into your PC, all you have to do is just change the dead zone settings for both the left and right sticks, which is here. You should change this into 0.20% because in the default setting, it's in 0.10. So be sure to change that so that it will fix the um, drifting issues when you are using a controller. So once you have done that, go to keywords and help keys. So it's the default settings here, system, um, system region, language, and time zone, you can uh, change this to whatever you like. It's subjective, by the way. And CPU, really simple settings, so be sure to copy them. Graphics, most important part of the setting in region, so be sure to copy everything that you see. Graphics back end should be in the Vulkan. You should have a dedicated graphics card. Uh, my resolution scale is in two times solution so that the game will look much sharper and much more beautiful than the native resolution of the Switch. But if your PC cannot handle that, then you can revert back into the native resolution, which is the base resolution of the Switch. Now go to audio, really simple settings, so be sure to copy them. So if you want to play uh, um, online uh, in some games of the Switch, you can do that. You could just follow the settings here. Once you have done this, all you have to do is click apply and hit OK. And then congratulations, your using simulator is now fully optimized to run and play any Switch games into your PC, such as Princess Peach Showtime. So a little bit, a little bit of a disclaimer, I will not be able to show you guys gameplay of this game because we all know how strict into it is and they have shown that they are strict on this kind of content especially um, the current events that are occurring that uh, that have occurred, I mean, is that they have um, deleted the existence of user emulator into the internet and sued them. And then user emulator just settled uh, to this and all of their download links has now been removed. So I hope you guys do understand this, why I can show you in a gameplay to save my channel from being taken down from Nintendo or in YouTube. So I hope you guys do understand on that. Part. But as long as you have followed all the steps that I've shown you in this guy's in in this guide, guys, you'll be able to get a file necessary for you to play Princess Peach Showtime into your region simulator, and it will be fully optimized to run it into your PC. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of this game, then just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer all of them as fast as I can. Thank you for watching. See you next time, and goodbye for now.